but what I saw a whole lot of fires out in Wednesday's Hill. They're not having some sort of police convention, are they? And I swear it's strange how everything. Lovely to see you, Miss Boyle. Nice to see you, Miss Boyle. Hello, boys. Keeping us safe? Next walk can't come soon enough, if you ask me, Miss. Hope the Jerry's come before my knees go, ma'am. I'll let the Jerry's know you miss them. Just pretend it is beef. Now's the time to endure, as they say. So the sergeant says, I didn't see you at camouflage training. So I says, I think someone pinched him. Well, I thought he was funny. I'm ready. Gives you a sense of purpose. Oh, tell it to the Marines. My eyesight isn't that bad. I like marching. having a couple with some of those Jerry's. Man to man, they're decent, clean folk. Have I shown you the picture of... I have. Fresh socks. That's his answer to everything. Bloody fresh I wouldn't socks. say that where the Sarge could hear you. You lot don't appreciate the General, because all you know is the war. But that when I so with him in India, let me tell you why. Oh, God, here he goes again with the elephant. Now, you two bloody listen to me, all right? One fine day, the Seaboys come running into the regimental HQ, saying there's an elephant broke loose. Now, elephants are very gentle creatures most of the time, and they get along just fine with their man of rights. It's called a But when they're in need, you have to chain them up. 
And this way, I got this. And there's my hoop chasing off in exactly the wrong direction. Into the market, it starts eating peaches. And the coolie tried to stop why, and the elephant steps on him something up. Mashes him right into the mud, and skin comes off his back like he was feeling free. So the sea boys come running up to this gentleman. Only then, he was a major, and say, you must come shoot this elephant. So, he takes his hunting one. I hope the general's not in one of his old oh, poor me moon. It's such a chore dragging him out of them. If he's cheery, I bet he'll give me the letter of transit without a blink. Hello? Hello? Anybody home? It's Sally Boyle. I'm not a German infiltrator. Please don't ambush me. Where are they? Miss Boyle? We weren't expecting you. Harry, why the fuck is the gate open? Excuse my French, ma'am. I told you to close it. No, Sergeant, you didn't. You said you were going to close it, but you had to go to the loo first. No, I didn't. I said I'm going to the loo. Why don't you close the gate? Boys? Boys, you can close it now if you like. Right, Harry. Close the gate, if you please, whilst I accompany Miss Boyle to the General's office.
Miss Boyle! I oh, won't he be happy to see you? He's trying to fix the boat again. The one in the warehouse? You mean the one in the boathouse, as is, Mom? They've moved the boat to the water. And he's got Hardy patching it up. Hardy don't hardly know which end of a boat goes in the water. If you don't think Hardy's up to it, find me someone who does know boats. Sally! Suppose you drift away, sir. How are we going to fetch you? What an unexpected pleasure. Army officers ought not to be pottering about in boats, sir. I realise you must be out of rainbow. You haven't been round in weeks. Wasn't I around just a few days ago? Damn it. Oh, and a friend of mine left the parade without his letter of transit. Now he can't go back to work. Isn't that silly? Any friend of yours, my dear. It's been too long, anyway. Oddest thing, last time I was there, I could swear I heard something that sounded like a cat. But I haven't seen a cat since the war. Have you? Fortunately, I wrote myself a note. Sally's got a... baby. What do you suppose that means? Who knows? Once you hallucinated that you were back in India and you kept saying, but I don't want to shoot some poor bastard's elephant. <laughs> <laughs> You're as clever a liar as I am. <laughs> you can lie with the truth. Your cruel's a toy with me, General. It's Dr. Velox, baby. Isn't it? No wonder you never told him. God knows what he'd do to a baby. You might have told me. She's not your bloody baby. So what do you care? Do you remember the children born after the war? We got some of them out, but... They made everyone so unhappy. Can... can you get us out? I might be able to get her out, if I'm very clever, but... No. I can't spare you. What do you think would happen if our beloved Bobbies ran out of Blackberry Joy? I have a safe house. Remember that abandoned building where you threw me that masquerade ball last year? I've cleaned it up a bit. Bring her there. I'm not sending her away. Why not? It's traditional, a single girl in trouble, not equipped to take care of her baby. I'd have thought you'd be grateful. You'll end up in one of Dr. Verloc's glass cells, and even I won't be able to save you. You don't know what it's like to be alone, do you? A girl like you never is. <laughs> I think you know the way out. All right. I've got the bloody letter of transit. Arthur said he'd let me know when he had the cod liver oil. Oh, I hope he sent me something on the blower. Wait. If the General's got the boat in the boathouse, if I can get it working, maybe I can get us out of here. I wish I could have just got it for Arthur for old time's sake. But Gwen needs that cod liver oil. Attention all personnel. The Merry Band players will be performing their brilliant play, Happy Hamlet, at 8 p.m. in the mess hall. All are invited. No worry, in Happy Hamlet, no one dies.
this here. The General's Bristol pilot. My God, if I could steal a boat... But does it work? Miss Boyle! How lovely to see you. You got the boat in the water. Well, over the water anyway. It don't leak quite as much anymore. Thing is, the motor don't turn. I mean, forget starting it. The old man's got the only key. I can't even turn it with a wrench. Rusted solid. I'd have to take it apart, but I think I'd never get it back together again. You know a lot about boats. And you're the only one fixing it up? Ma'am, I'm a joiner. If you need a door hung, I'm your man. Apparently, that makes me the General's expert on boats. My dad and I patched up a Bristol pilot when I was a girl. Is that what sort of boat it is? Did about 20 leagues, but yeah, it wasn't really white water. So we sold it for a twin diesel schooner. Of course, the Navy requisitioned that for lake patrols. We tried to patch up a Q-boat during the occupation, but we couldn't find a ramjet. I'm not an expert. Would you happen to know how to fix the motor? Well, if it's rusted solid, maybe Dr. Faraday would make a new one for me. You know Dr. Faraday? If the likes of me asked her, she'd probably zap me with one of her satanic devices. All right, but don't tell the General. No, ma'am. It'll be our little secret. Won't the General be surprised? Gwen, oh, we may just make it out of here alive after all. I just need to get Dr. Faraday to make a new boat motor for me. Then I lied my ass off to Hardy. <laughs> I've never been near a boat. So I'll need to find someone who can tell me how to drive one. And I guess I'll need to steal the General's key to the boat. All right, <laughs> first things first. Who can tell me about boats? Hmm. Wait. Ah, oh, the air raid shelter. Arthur and I snuck in there once. And then we walked the rail tunnels all the way back to Maiden Home. I should go down there and make sure the hatch door is still open. Never hurts to have an escape hatch. Oh. <laughs> Wouldn't Arthur be pleased if he'd come up with that? Who drinks that much whiskey? I can sneak. Oh, that crazy old pirate. He must know about boats. He can't be hard to find. He's always at the pub.
I think I'll skip the scene again this time. Mind the gap, please. Rising on the ground, won't you? Our favorite new band. Morning. What's your pleasure then?
Ni se nu imsha wa. All right. The recipe? I'll give it to you tomorrow, after I see Beatrice. your joy immediately. I'm afraid I'm looking for someone. He's not here. He's, he's just stepped out. Don't know when he'll be back. <laughs> Where's the pirate? Does he owe you money, too? 
No, I want to talk with him about boats. He ran out looking for Eddie. The meat boy said he was on Wednesday's Hill. Eddie McMillan? What's he doing there? What do you get when you cross an elephant with a rhino? What? Elephino. Watch yourself out there. The old name for that hill wasn't Wednesday. That's goddamn creepy. I hope these boobs were amazing looking. I don't actually like long walks.
going to clean that up. They've taken him. Poor, poor Eddie. Who's taken Eddie? The cultists. Up on the hill. The yam people. It's not yams they worship. They're... It's too horrible. You have to stop them. They're going to kill him. I wish I could do it. I'm too scared. Oh, God. I just... My legs have got all watery. I'm a coward, Miss Boyle. A coward. I'll do my best. Don't go anywhere. Save him, Miss Boyle. Please. Cook up my heart and eat it! Oh, I dear. think we should all eat it. Just cut. No! Please! No! Don't kill me! My god! They're gonna cut his heart out. I don't think I want to fight all these vegetable worshippers. I wonder if there's a way I could drug them. Oh! Look! They're drinking out of a chalice. Hear the words of the no, old one, please, no, whose names don't kill are me. secret and may not be it's said. Happening. Whispered don't. in the shadow no, of the new way. moon. Get out! Save me! Save me! Please! Teach you things that are unknown. Uh, You'd enjoy it if you just relax. Infidel, heave. Ha. Ah. I need my heart, ah. please. Ah. Help! Ha. for ditching me for the posh girls in year seven. Thank you! Thank you, thank you! They promised me sweets if I came along with them. But there weren't any, and they tied me up. You mustn't trust strangers, Eddie. I know. But I can trust you, can't I? You're good. And Arthur, he's good too. Percy always said so. Yeah. Arthur's bloody brilliant. Look, you wait here. I'll send someone to get you home.
You saved him. I wish I had. I love that lad. He's one of the best people I know. Yeah. He'll need you to carry him home. Listen, Captain, I need to fix up a Bristol pilot. The, uh, a general's. Oh, that's a beauty. I love that boat. Clean line. Could I... Could I borrow your book? Oh, sure. Here we go. So, after I didn't save any, keep it. You'll need it more than I do. <laughs> Tell you the truth, I haven't been in a boat in 15 years. Say, you would happen to have a sovereign, Rusty Pirate, would you? I feel smarter about boats already. Arthur getting that cod liver oil. Maybe he's got it. Maybe he's already sent a note on the blower. I'm so close to our playground. Maybe I should just see if he's there. And see how things are going.
A man's home is his castle, and it's not your place to castle. <laughs> Now, if I'm not sure how, which train do I take? All off. You're still in town. I got it. Your precious cod liver oil. Lifesaver. Have you got my letter of transit then? Arthur, we're practically the only two people in this entire city not stoned out of our minds on joy. You look. rough. What do you care? How are you going to get out? Why won't you just give me the fucking letter of transit? Oh, it's always what you want, always what you need, every little Sally whim. Bloody cod liver oil. Am I really that awful? Well, just because you seduced my dad in my mum's bed while you were staying in our house? How was I supposed to tell him no? I didn't have anywhere else to go. Um, sorry. Here. Let's go together. My two musketeers. I'm scared, Arthur. Aren't you? <sighs> it's going crazy out there. We have to go now. Wait, wait. I have to go back to my place first. Why? And we sort of have to wait till dawn. Oh, God, no. Something I have to tell you. No, that, that, that's crazy. I, I can't. Oh, you shouldn't have asked for that ridiculous cod liver oil. I've got a baby. <sighs> it's just self-preservation, Sally. No hard feelings. Arthur? Arthur? Did he even hear me? Of course he heard. He just didn't care. At least he brought the cod liver oil. At least that. I've got to get it to Gwen as fast as I can. Thank you. 
Sounds like someone's having a terrible life. Don't tell me you're out here too. I'm just visiting. Well, aren't you lucky? You got a bad batch. Oh god, the eyes! Make them stop! There was an accident at the lab. Bill didn't get his gas mask on fast enough. Let me sleep, oh god, please! You know, Dr. Verloc keeps trying to make your Blackberry. Keeps jiggering around the formula for coconut, but it's never quite right. Not based on coconut. It's not based on any of the flavors. Well, you might have told Dr. Verloc that. He... wasn't kind to me. I left. We haven't really talked since. <gasps> please! Please! No more! No more! If he could just sleep, I think he'd get better. Can you give him some sleep? I can give him something to knock him out, but it's risky. I don't know what's going on. At least help him sleep, for God's sake! All right. I'll do what I can. Day, is it? I better not catch you getting into my stuff. Shiati on me.
Are you kidding me? Couldn't be better, thanks. I saw a spanker spanker. is perfectly horrid. I know. But it will help you fight those nasty measles. And that is everything. We're gonna see the world, darling. We're gonna leave this awful place and go wherever we want. Just as soon as you're feeling better. Alright, I know a thing or two about the General's boat. Now I just need a boat motor. I hope Dr. Faraday can make me one I can carry.